Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through some fraction word problems, and we're going to be working with fractions of a whole. So one whole will be divided into equal parts. We will go through some examples together, and then we will end with some practice problems. We will be writing out fractions here, so we will need to determine the numerator and denominator based on the situation. Let's jump into number one, where we have TJ made lasagna for dinner. The lasagna was divided into nine equal pieces. TJ and his family ate seven pieces. What fraction of the lasagna was eaten? Well, let's start with the denominator, the total number of parts. So in this situation, the total number of pieces the lasagna was divided into. That's nine. The lasagna was divided into nine equal pieces. So nine is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. That's the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in or focused on. We can think of the numerator as the number of parts being talked about. Here we want the fraction of the lasagna that was eaten. So we need the number of pieces of lasagna that TJ and his family ate. That's seven. TJ and his family ate seven pieces. So seven is our numerator. Seven pieces out of the nine total pieces were eaten. So our fraction here, seven ninths. Seven ninths of the lasagna was eaten. Let's move on to number two. We have what fraction of the lasagna is left? Well, if there were nine total pieces and seven were eaten, what's left? So we can figure this out by doing nine total pieces minus the seven pieces that were eaten, and that gives us two pieces left. Now we need a fraction here. Let's start with the denominator. That's nine again, because that's the total number of pieces that the lasagna was divided into. So again, our denominator here, nine. Now we need the numerator. That's going to be the number of pieces left. That's two. Two is our numerator. Two pieces out of the nine total pieces are left. So our fraction here, two ninths. Two ninths of the lasagna is left. And we actually have a visual over here of this situation. There are nine total pieces with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces that were eaten, and then we have one, two pieces left. The seven pieces that were eaten plus the two pieces that are left equal the nine total pieces, the whole lasagna. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four, let's jump into number three where we have Chef Quinn baked a pie and cut it into eight equal pieces. Five pieces were eaten. What fraction of the pie was eaten and what fraction is left? So we have two questions here. Let's start with what fraction of the pie was eaten. And we will start with the denominator. So we need the total number of pieces that the pie was cut into. Well, that's eight. The pie was cut into eight equal pieces. So eight is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. And we're starting with what fraction of the pie was eaten? Well, five pieces were eaten. So five is our numerator. Five pieces out of the eight total pieces were eaten. So our fraction here, five eighths. So five eighths of the pie was eaten. Now let's go to our second question. What fraction is left? Now there were eight total pieces and five were eaten. That means we are subtracting five from the eight total pieces. That gives us three pieces that are left. So let's write a fraction here and we will start with the denominator, which is going to be eight again. 
eight total pieces. So denominator of eight, and then our numerator is going to be three. There are three pieces left. So numerator of three. Three pieces out of the eight total pieces are left. So our fraction here, three eighths. Three eighths of the pie is left. So five eighths of the pie was eaten and three eighths of the pie is left. Lastly, let's move on to number four where we have Miley divided her garden into four equal sections. One section is for tomatoes, one section is for peppers, one section is for lettuce, and one section is for flowers. What fraction of the garden is for tomatoes? So let's start with our denominator here, which is going to be the total number of parts, the total number of sections that the garden was divided into. Well, the garden was divided into four equal parts, four equal sections. So our denominator is four. Now we need our numerator. So the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in, that we're focused on. Well, we want what fraction of the garden is for tomatoes. Tomatoes are going to go in one section. So one out of the four sections is for tomatoes. Our fraction here is one fourth. One fourth of the garden is for tomatoes. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Read each problem carefully and answer the questions. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's take a look at the answers. For number one, 11 twelfths of the pizza was eaten. 11 out of the 12 total pieces. One twelfth of the pizza is left. One piece out of the 12 total pieces. For number two, we have two thirds. Two thirds of the poster is done. Two out of the three total sections. And lastly, for number three, three-sevenths of the obstacle course is left. Four out of the seven parts have been completed. That means three parts out of the seven in total are left. So there you have it. Those were some word problems to help our understanding of 
fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.